I'm Pat Cunn, and this is a Let's Play that I'm doing for Fallout 3. So, about a year ago, I did a playthrough of, uh, uh, of Skyrim, and it was a lot of fun. And since then, some, uh, some friends on the internet recommended I check out the Fallout series, particularly this game, Fallout 3, and its sequel of sorts, Fallout New Vegas. And, um... Both of them were particularly good games. Unfortunately, Fallout New Vegas is pretty buggy. But doing a walkthrough of Fallout 3 seems like uh, it would be a lot of fun. So, my character is being born right now. Or, well, actually just was born. It's a little bit weird that I can understand uh, that's uh, my character's dad, and we can't really see my character's mum behind me. Daddy, sweetheart. But Daddy. so far I made the only choice so far in my character's generation. I chose to play uh, a girl. In a little bit, I'm going to be able to uh, pick my character's statistics. Here I'm entering a name. Let's go with... Uh, um, hmm. uh, okay. So that will be my character's name. That's a good name, don't you think? And perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you look like when you're all grown up. And here I get to pick a look for my character. Uh, let's see. You have some preset looks that you can choose between. Uh, I guess I'll go with the Caucasian. There's some some more presets. Um you can zoom in and out and take a look at it is a lot of fun and if you haven't played this kind of game before you can spend a lot of time customizing all this stuff you can change your brow with maybe a little bit higher of a brow Make them look kind of always sad, or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, of course, unfortunately, a lot of these things you just can't you can't tell a, a gigantic difference. Um, plus, you don't end up actually spending a lot of time looking at uh, at your uh, at yourself anyhow in the game, so it doesn't make that much of a difference. Let's see, but what kind of a nose? the nose point down a little bit more. I don't know. It's kind of a... It's neat, though, that you get to, to um, get to choose all these things. Let's go with a little bit sm whoop, smaller of a mouth. Uh, doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, if you're really into role-playing in this game, this is fantastic. Let's see, chin. Let's be a little bit more forward of a chin. Um, I don't know. You can change your skin color. Let's... But again, with a lot of this, you, you really have a tough time telling. I like the way that the game tries to give... Uh, yeah, weird. A uh, uh, beard would be really weird. Um, but the game really tries to... Oh, really? Very difficult to tell here. Hazel eyes would be neat. Okay. And here you can change your hairstyle. Some of the options are pretty wild. Kind of cool, though. Hmm. Yeah, you, you have quite a, a number of options. Anyhow, I should probably be talking about how I'm going to play the game. Uh, may, might be a little bit difficult to do that too much while I'm paying attention to this. Uh, that really is a pretty neat look. Well, this is kind of neat, too. I hmm. guess I'll go with this. And...
So, there are a fair number of bugs in Fallout. If I encounter any particularly nasty ones, I will not be afraid of uh, of loading and trying something again. I don't think my character's dad looks a lot like that. It's a big world out there, honey, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? You're James? just a Catherine. James. Catherine. She's in cardiac James. arrest. Start compressions. James. Get the baby out of here. Move, move. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay. You one. Yeah, so th the game does have a number of sad bits in it. Come on over here, sweetie. Come on. Walk to the Come to Daddy. Oh, so now I'm a little baby walking around. Which is kinda cool. Come to Daddy. Just a little further. And you can pick stuff up. You can do it. Over here. And Mama. there you go. Yeah, it's a little bit I ridiculous, but it's kind of fun. Just a year Get gets you used to walking around in a way where you don't feel old. too awkward. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo. I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, honey. I think I'm one year old. I don't think I really need that. Oh, I can already set my stats and stuff. So the thing about this series of games is that you so you have um seven stats you have uh strength which is good for melee type characters and you you can pull pull strengths off of uh pull points out of average and put them into other stats you have perception oh yeah so strength also influences how much you can carry and you need to be able to lift any weapons effectively that you can use including firearms Perception helps you see further. It's good for energy weapons, explosives, picking locks, stuff like that. Uh, endurance uh, gives you hit points. It'll Im impact how much damage you take in some circumstances. It's good for big guns and unarmed fighting. Uh, charisma is used for talking with people. And I think it increases the health of your companions. Uh, intelligence, uh, every time you level up you get some skill points. You get more skill points if you, uh, if you have a higher intelligence. The top score is 10 for any of these stats in the game, but you can pick up things called bobbleheads. Uh, and there's one for each stat that will increase uh, that stat by one. So you probably don't want to spend 10 on anything. But intelligence is super, super important. Uh, agility... Um, it helps you sneak around. It's good for most guns. It impacts a certain mode in combat, which is used for trying to automatically hit things. And then there's luck, which Im uh, influences a whole bunch of things. Uh, it Im impacts all your skills a little bit, and it Im it also tells you uh, it chooses how likely you are to score a critical hit. So what I'm trying to do create a high intelligence, uh, high luck character. And I'm willing to skimp a little bit on all the other stats to get that. Um, guess I'll drop a little bit more in strength. Five is perception, and five is agility. I'm going to be using both energy weapons and regular guns and explosives. So. I'm going to try and, f for combat, I'm, I need to have my agility and my perception both decent. i to put this extra point in perception, though, because I'm going to be using both explosives and energy weapons. And that should be good. 
I think that's a fair initial distribution of points. There are ways to get more points later on. So that is good. I'm going to have a little bit of a tough time carrying enough stuff because my strength is low. Um, I'm going to have to be careful with damage. I'm going to have to be careful with interpersonal interactions. And I'm not going to be that great at combat initially. But that's okay. Oh, and my dad's apparently a religious dude, which I guess that's okay. Um, let's see. Oh, well, I already looked at that book. And, and my dad's back. Hey, Dad. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. Oh, very that? It was your mother's favorite passage. Oh, I think he's showing me it's this. Bible. Revelation 21.6. Yep. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Okay. Well, we that's that. nice. All right. Come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. Okay. I think we're going to fade out here to a later period in my life. Something like that. Yep. Okay, and I think this makes me ten years old now. Okay. Cool. She is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, honey. Procreation is apparently my civic duty. Thank you, Overseer. I'm so oh, yeah, I'm ten. Okay. Congratulations, young lady. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As Overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Happy birthday! <laughs> your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. Oh. You're such a liar. Okay. Gross! I didn't think you even liked boys. Especially not Freddy the Freak. Yuck. I guess maybe I should give this to some. The question is, how could you tell the difference? <laughs> Anyhow. Oh man, you got a pit boy. I wish I was ten. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool part. I know that, uh, anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. What? <laughs> So there's a propaganda thing. Happy birthday, Missy. Introduce us to your new girlfriend. Who do you mean, dork face here? So there's the overseer. I think he's in charge of this community. I hope you appreciate the effort Amata put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. I do not allow the fact that Amata is my daughter to compromise my position as overseer. I gave her all the... That is simply what my position required. <laughs> yeah, Enjoy so unfortunately yourself. he's a little bit of a douche. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Goodness, listen to me rant. Fiddlesticks. I was ten once, believe it or not. Okay. Not like today. So few... Here you go. A night... Attention, em. So this is your Pip-Boy. You can see all your stats and stuff uh, from there. I'm level 1, 180 hit points, 75 action points. Those are points that you spend in combat to do special things, automatically aiming at stuff, all that. These are my basic skills in the game. Some combat stuff, some non-combat stuff. Some perks, which I don't have any of yet because you choose them as you level up. And some other basic stats. Then you have items. I don't have any weapons yet. I do have a jumpsuit on. Uh, this is a skill book. If you read it, 
then it improves one of your skills, like my me melee weapons thing just improved. I can also eat a sweet roll. And I don't have anything else. And then there's a PA system here, which plays some music. In this game, I'm actually not going to do very much with the music. Andy, wait. Oh. Nice pit boy. What is that? One of the 3000 A models? This party's pretty good, I guess. Not as cool as my party, though. Oh, right. You weren't invited to my... Well, I'm hungry, and that's give me that. What? Dang! I love those sweet rolls old lady Palmer makes. Just stay out of my nice kid. Anyhow, I just got a party hat. I will put it on. I wonder, can I yeah. zoom out? I thought that there was some way of... Oh yeah, this is me, I think. Having a good time? How do you like that there, Pip-Boy? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Don't. Oh, yes. It wasn't easy keeping this a secret. Now go on. What Butch want? I thought you were. God, he really is a butthead. Oh well, you can always count on Butch to make an ass of himself. Oh. Get it? <laughs> I'm sure everyone else would like a chance to talk. I'm sure of it, Amato. Never suspected Maybe. a thing. Shut up and let me think a minute. Are you having a nice Things time? So, what do you think we should um, call it? Um, busy with the water total fire. Everything's hey, fine. I hope. Vault Oh sure, nothing to worry Let's about. Me and Andy got all day being cold again last night. Good as new. Enjoying yourself? You really are as dumb as you look. Jonas? Can fix anything, right? Hey Doc. Anyway, we're all set down I'm here. Glad you can make it. Thanks. I'll send her right down. How's it going, sweetheart? How are you enjoying the party? Hey, that was Jonas on the. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs. Mrs. Palmer, I have decorations, you know. Oh really? Well, the game said I should do it, but it has not yet opened the door. Or maybe hey, that's the wrong door. Maybe this is the door. Happy birthday, D. They sure. D and now look at you. A great big. Since this was such a special. Of course. So she gave me a poem. Uh. And I guess I am going. Downstairs. For some kind of. Thing. I'm really hoping not to hear too much music because I'm worried that the game is going to recognize the music and... What are you doing down here, young lady? <laughs> you sure are. If you can wait just one more minute. But yeah, I'm, I'm worried that YouTube's content filter stuff is going to uh, pick up the music and decide to assign this video to somebody else. Are you ready for your surprise? The overseer gave you your Pip-Boy and your... Your own BB gun. Jonas found it down here. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Easy now. It's only a... Okay, so now I have a weapon. Whoop, a BB gun, and... And they're going to give me some targets. Well, what do you think? Couldn't have done it without Jonas. Thanks, Jonas. Happy birthday, darling. I hope you have Hey, you don't turn t Okay, so... One... Two... And... Careful, it's a rad roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just uh, aim and let's shoot. see. You'll be fine. Oh, so this is the the aiming mode when I I talked about 
talked about AP, and actually using that mode spends AP. Good work. That's one less round roads. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Smile. Okay, then we zoom forward a little bit further. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old girl. So, yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. No, you are not. <laughs> really. When I started studying medicine, one of the first things I learned was how to spot a kid playing sick to get out of taking a test. You'll do fine. It's not so bad. Everyone has to take it when they're 16. I had to. You have to, and so does everyone else. And most every The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. Okay, well... Hey. That's not the way it works. That's what the overseer... He's not about to let... Okay. So... There's that. Now this is one of those bobbleheads. I will pick it up and this increases my medicine by 10 points. And I can peek my head around here and read every uh, everybody's medical files if I want to, which is probably not all that great. Here we find that the overseer is kind of spying on his uh, daughter. Um, and some experiments that my dad is doing. Actually, the game has a lot of depth. I'm not actually going to... Uh, I'm not actually going to read everything that I could in the game. Good there's, morning. There's my I dad's assistant. Old man before class, eh? Morning, Jonas. <laughs> morning, Doc. You How's better that? stay away. I don't want you to you catch what I've got. Look over these results? I was just okay. going over them. Something you're worried about? And I'd just like to keep an eye on. No so I need to make my way to the aptitude test. What is it now, ma'am? I can show you a real tongue snake, Amada. God, Butch! Why don't you just leave Back me? Off. Don't mess with the tunnel snakes. So our um What? You mouthing off, Spaz? Everyone knows the tunnel snakes. So our vault, we which we all uh, live in. We don't take shit from nobody. Uh, it apparently has its own gangs. Stay. Me and Butch were just having some. Due to the threats of radiation. I don't follow anyone. W why? You think Butch is in charge? What? What kind of shit is? He's not the boss of me. Nobody's. We're done here. Done? We're not done. I say when we're done. Don't know who put you in charge. I say we're done. Let's go, Paul. Are you sure, Butch? Um. Tunnel snakes rule. Yeah. Fine, let's go. I was done here anyway. I'm not finished with you either, twerp. The lights, I think. They hurt my eyes. Thank God that's over. Thanks for getting rid of them. I don't know why they won't. Thanks for getting rid of them. I oh, well, I guess here's the test. Well, you made it. Oh. Didn't work on your dad either, did it? Now, unless you have something else you want to discuss, take a seat and prepare. I'm sure you will, especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answer. We'll start as... Morning. Okay. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. Ah, <sighs> okay. No talking. And so, I have sit down. 
Yes, and... I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brunch. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Okay. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs So this part of the game, you actually I'm going to put uh, quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonance. You get some chamber. boosts What's to certain button? skills. Uh you get some boosts to certain skills um uh based on your answers to these questions. So, uh, let's see. So the first one, the choice between science, speech, melee, and sneak. Any of those could be important. I, uh, science, s speech, and sneak are the ones that are most useful to me. Um... I think I'm gonna stress. Uh, um, let's go with sneak initially. Question two: While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? So we have me uh, melee, speech, medicine. Or science. I think I'll go with science. Question three. Which is kind of a douchey answer. Young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and friendly, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? So we have speech, unarmed, sneak, or nothing. I think I'm going to go with uh, speech. Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? So there's explosives, big guns, melee, and unarmed. I think explosives is going to be my choice uh, of those. Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another <laughs> Vault resident. Weird grandma. What do you do? So we have small guns, barter, big guns, or explosives. I'm going to go with small guns here. Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? So we have lockpick, explosives and barter, energy weapons, and repair. I'm going to go with uh, energy weapons. Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. <laughs> What's the best course of treatment? Small guns, medicine, barter, and energy weapons. Initially, small guns are going to be easier to find than energy weapons, so I'm going to focus on them for now. Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? So there's barter, small guns, sneak, and medicine. I think I'm going to go with uh, sneak. Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... So there's repair, explosives, medicine, and lockpick. <coughs> um, I guess a little bit of repair will work. I don't think that these bonuses. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland, and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. So it doesn't really matter here. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Hey. Huh. 
I wonder who will be brave enough to be your first customer as the vault's new tattoo artist. I promise it won't be me. Yes, um, it's refreshing to see such uh, youthful enthusiasm. Good to know that the goat occasionally gets it right. You know what they say about monkeys and typewriters. Well, I'm glad things... T so this actually just chose three skills to put my points into. Small guns, speech, and sneak. And y you can change them here if you want to. But I think that this is probably a pretty decent start for my character. I'll just say hi to some Stop people. Stop bothering me. I, I've just got to figure out this last one. You, you are, Mr. Brush. What did I tell you about I talking I did okay. to me, huh? I don't want to catch a case of the nerve from you. Let's see. Very well done. Get out of my face. You did fine. You should celebrate with your friends. Okay. Zoom forward a little bit further. Wake up! Come on, wake up! I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on! You've got to wake up! You've got to get out of here! Your dad is gone and my father... He's left the vault! I don't know how, but he's gone and my father, he's kind of gone crazy. I thought so too, but... My father's men think Jonas helped your dad escape. Yeah. Don't worry about me. But we've got... Not this time. But that doesn't... And I have... Listen. There's a secret... Use these to get into... Oh, one more thing? I... Well, okay. All right. Okay, so she, she is running out. I'm gonna duck. But don't wait for me. I'll take my BB gun. Um, and some medicine, and I'm definitely going to be sneaking. Hold it right there. Crime any more roaches. And I do not. You got to help me. Okay, so something really went wrong over here. So let's get the BB gun. And these roaches are attacking his mum. So unfortunately the game really is occasionally pretty bu uh, buggy. That's one less roach. See if I can get these things dead before... Oh, come on. Oh, well, I guess she's just doing alright. There we go. That wasn't very nice. Come on, stop that! Butchie, help me! We did it! My mother. Hey! God, I could really use a drink. And so we can loop, loot the corpses. Okay. And and I've got to escape here before bad things happen. I'll run upstairs and see. Hold on, Missy. I just want to talk. Oh, you're lucky it was me who found. I don't know what you're up to. That's a real sh. But you're a good kid. With you now. Damn it! More roaches. We should just go back to our quarters. It's our only chance. Don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the guy. I'm not going to let anyone stop us. Tom! 
Alright, so how can I escape? Oh, not that way. Is it this way, maybe? No. Uh. Oh, I think maybe I have to run upstairs or something. Yeah, these roaches, they're everywhere. Uh, maybe it's over here that I have to go. Okay, up I go. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. Oop. So this is how picking lock works, uh, locks works in this game, and this is how hacking works in the game. You pick a word, and it tells you how similar it is to the word. Uh, ah, cool, lucked out. And I can read up. Don't know if these unlock things later on, but I'm just going to quickly scan through them. Here we find out that the, although the o overseer claims that there wasn't any contact with the outside world, they have photos. And so on. There's a lot of content. Ow! Ow, ow! And I'm going to run through here and just get a little bit more practice before I go out and go into the uh, real world. Oh shoot. That guy is still chasing me. Okay, I think he's not going to follow me through the door. So. I'm going to open the outer door. She's opening the vault door. Kind of a cool mechanism to handle the door. I didn't think I would make it. My, my when the warning sirens came on, they all ran out. You're right. Compared to Jonas, I'm just... You seem to have come... Go on, then. The... Don't worry. I'm sure I can patch things up. Whoa! So apparently they're not willing to chase me out. Quick, close the door. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. Quick, close the door. going out there. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. Anyhow, I guess I have to uh, leave now. And out I go. Into the real world. So that's the start of Fallout 3. So... And this is the outside world of Fallout. So, just in case I haven't mentioned it before, this is a world after a nuclear holocaust. And I'm going to see if I can manage to disable the music, because I want to make sure that... Um, oh, well, apparently I'm not managing to disable the music. Well, it shouldn't, it shouldn't play a lot of music. So I hit level uh, 2 from... Uh, uh, Hit level 2 from the experience for finishing that quest. And I'm going to bump up sp some skills. I'm going to always be bumping up my small gun skill a little bit. Maybe my energy weapon skills. Uh, 
speech is also always useful in, in this uh, game. As is sneak. Um, hmm. Let's go with intense training, which will let me put another point into one of my special skills. And I'm going to bump up my uh, I'll bump my strength up uh, a little bit, just so that I'll have an easier time carrying stuff around. So this is a post-apocalyptic world. These are quests that are being started by some add-ons that come with the version of Fallout that I have. There'll be a, a few of those as I move on. And let's keep on moving. Lots of add-ons. Even more add-ons. And over here is the first city that you bump into in the game. Not much of a city, maybe town is a better world. But anyhow, this is after an apocalypse. Uh, the United States and the rest of the world have been smashed to bits by nuclear war. Um, there are lots of mutated creatures living up here, lots of radiation. Any water that you bump into is going to be... Oh, there's an enemy nearby. And uh, we notice that that display up there says danger. This is not good. Because my weapon is not doing very much. Do I have any other weapons? No, I just have... Just have this BB gun. Well, that's no good. Fortunately, this dog is not very fast. It's not very smart either. And the handy thing about that view is that you can really zoom in on p part of an enemy and try and uh, try and disable uh, part of them. So if I can disable this this critter's legs. The left legs are, are disabled. Oops. And I'm running pretty low on ammo here. And I'm not having a lot of luck. Yeah. So it's not going all that well. No more dog. The cost of most of my ammo. But I'll just head over to this this area here. What I probably should have done if I had been smarter is just dodged the dog and gone right in. Oh here's some traders out here who've killed an ant. Welcome, sir or madam, to Crazy Wolfgang's traveling junk store. Now Nothing but the highest quality leftovers, junk, and crap. So, I'll sell him all of the radroach meat and the vodka that I picked up. 
And uh, I do not really have anything of value to sell him. Great. Well, that at least gives me... So the currency in this game is called caps. Another satisfied customer. And this is the town. Have yourself a nice visit, partner. And let's head into the town. The town is called Megaton. Well, I understand. You're from that vault, Vault 101. <laughs> Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, girl. Friendly and well-mannered. I'm glad. Nope. Okay. Well, that's mighty... Okay. Good to see you, Steve. So that should be it initially. Let's head up to one of the major quest givers in the game. Who's kind of a crazy mad scientist lady. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I have. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. Great. <gasps> yeah, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to repl- That's great for a forward. That'll be good for the book. No, then they just- Good in th Things like where it is and isn't safe to- Landmines are one of the few dangers I've heard. Oh, don't worry. Okay. So she gave me my first quest. I'm still almost unarmed, which is going to be kind of tricky. But I can't afford to arm myself. But yeah, she... She gave me a quest. And that is enough to get started in this game. There are also doctors and a whole bunch of other things. Here's a nutty guy who's who's hanging out with the bomb. We here? Could it be? I am con. In my youth. So this is what happens when you get into a radiation. You have a radiation meter that slowly Behold, increases. If it gets too high, then the you get some bad uh, bad effects. And the whole town is kind of built out of scrap. Lots of tin housing, stuff tied together. Kind of messy. Unfortunately, I don't have a oh, good. Come on. Hello. Pay more attention to what you're doing. Don't have a good source of income uh, initially, she, it, which typically makes the beginning of the game pretty rough. Um, so what you really want to do is get some help. 
unfortunately... So... There's a dog that you can get that's really helpful called uh, dog meat. And if you can make your way there, then... Then you can uh, pick him up and he'll do a lot of the killing for you. But... I'm not sure if I'm high enough level to really do that yet. He should be, I think... Uh, let me look at my map here. Um, so I'm from Vault 101. And Minefield is up here. There's a scrapyard around here, which is where I should be able to find uh, find that dog. So maybe I should set my marker there. Also, with just like with Skyrim, you can do fast travel in this game. And it's pretty important to stop you from wasting way too much time. Y you want to find as many places as you can. And pick up stuff that might uh, that you can sell particularly important initially even if it's not high value stuff because without money at least initially you're gonna have a really tough time this is an iBot and they they play music all sorts of fun stuff like that so not a lot that I can get here, but you want to visit all of the, uh... You want to visit all of the houses just to see if there's anything you can get that'll help you survive. Swing by the mailboxes, nothing in there. I guess these are the areas of DC that have been hit, uh, hit pretty hard by, um... I mean, well, the whole country was pretty much destroyed by the nuclear explosion, but you can kind of see the uh, the ruins uh, here. I imagine this would be an interesting game to play if you happen to be from DC. Just because, uh, although the game isn't detailed enough to actually uh, display everything in, det in detail, You kind of have a compressed version of uh, of DC here, and th there are other areas in the game. We'll be visiting Pittsburgh later on, which is a city that's very dear to me. Let's see, is there anything else I can get here that'll help me s survive? Well, there's some beer that I'll be able to sell. Let's see. Ah, oh, here's a house. Oh, there's a person in the house. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Colin Moore. That's sec. I'm tired of hiding out here like... I, I guess you're... Well, that wasn't very nice of me, but I got some caps for it. Okay. Well, that wasn't very nice of me, and I, I will be putting more effort into getting a good reputation later. But at least initially, I just need to somehow manage to survive. So I need to get stuff. Okay, this is a school. Unfortunately, I can't survive inside the school because there are a whole bunch of nasties inside of it. Eventually, I'll come back and explore this area. But I, the, the problem is that I don't have a weapon. Or at least my BB is almost out of ammo. And that means... 
On the upside, if I can survive for a little bit in here, I'll be able to get much better weapons. So maybe I should give this a try. Well, I will give this a save. I gotta duck down. Oh, there are some foes nearby. They're in there. Oh, oh. Ooh. You can see how desperately underarmed I am here. Guess I'm just going to run up to this guy and go at him with a knife. Which is really stupid, but... At least I'm armed now. Which is not great. It's pretty sucky weapon. But... Oh, and I only have a few shots with it. Great. But I did get some stim packs earlier, which restore your health. There's a phone nearby. I'm in desperate need of better weapons. Ooh, more than one foe nearby. Wonderful. Fortunately, so since they're they're showing us danger, one of them I think is coming after me. Probably. Caution. Okay, maybe no longer. Okay, uh, there's the guy. And he is hanging... Oh! Hanging out up there. How can I get to that guy? M mas basically because I want his uh, his weapons so that I can survive. And these guys are raiders. They <laughs> pretty much try and kill everybody they can. So I'm not going to feel too bad about trying to, to knock him over. But I don't want to get killed. Ooh. Shoot. Well, uh, maybe I'll have more luck if I run inside because I might be able to get some better weapons in there. But yes, I do need to survive. So this is a former school. And there are foes in bo both directions. There can also be traps. Oh, there is a dude. And he's coming up. It's no time. Okay. I have two of these. Can use one to repair the other. Uh, I just I only have a few shots though, so this is still not all that great. But it's a start. Some cans. Um, gotta be kind of tiptoeing around because. If I face too many of these guys at once, I'll be in deep, deep trouble. Oh, uh-oh. Not good. Oh, well, actually, I'm well hidden. That means that they're not trying to chase me at just this moment. And I can loot and get lots of stuff to hopefully sell on a trip back to Megaton. Initially, you just keep on going back and forth. hear a dog nearby. None of these lockers have anything in them. The garbage can is empty. This garbage can 
you end up making a lot of money initially also selling cigarettes. Okay, let's see. Anything over here? Oh. Why, hello there. So I think that should have tipped that person off to me. They'll probably be coming to try and find me. Probably. Though so maybe they won't be successful. I'll be picking up some me medical supplies in here. Reloading. Because, yeah, you do need to worry about, about running out of... Uh, or about reloading in this game because you'll do it automatically but it, it'll slow you down in combat. So I'm hidden again. Nobody sees me. Let's see. Can I creep over here and finish the job or is the person gone? Ah, oh, they're gone. Well, that's fine. Because when I bump into them again, all the better. Where did they go though? Oh, well, somebody's coming. I think. Uh, I don't know where that dog is. I don't like not knowing where that dog is. Oh, Raider is somewhere up ahead. Oop, there we go. Gotcha. Unfortunately, really getting low on ammo. And... Well, a little bit more weaponry, though. Hide from me? Better hope. Back up. I got first dibs on the loot. Okay. Oh, I don't see anyone right now. Hmm. some more first aid, which is definitely helpful, particularly if I do more melee. Cell door. Hmm. Well, nothing in here. Uh, some stairs leading up. Not really ready to go upstairs yet. I stay on the ground floor. Keep on exploring. Ooh, there's a downstairs. I don't think I really want to go downstairs either. What's over here? Can hear someone coming from. Th oh, somebody's aiming at me. Where are you? Well, this is a nice controlled area. Oh, I think I see somebody. Okay. That is the end to them. Hide from me? Better hope I don't find you. You know, I almost feel sorry for this poor bastard. Cool. More weapons. Almost. <laughs> and I have some more Some more weapons with this gun. I mean, some more ammo with this gun. So let's see. Just like a little. Oh. <laughs> Not good. do there. Who's out there? Scared? Just like a little bitch. Relax, fellas. Trouble's over. This okay. is bullshit. Come out and fight. 
Really not good. Super low on, on ammo. Even though I have two guns now, it's not very helpful if I don't have any ammo for them. Um... Ooh. Mole rat. Dead mole rat. And some food. Uh, stim pack is always helpful. As I mentioned, stim packs are uh, they are one of the, the things that you can use that restore your health. Rataway uh, gets rid of radiation. Beer, well, it's not super... It's very low value, but you can sell it. A lot of the stuff you can sell in this game. There's a lot of vendor trash. Well, let's see. I guess I'm probably about ready to try heading upstairs. If I can figure out how to get there. It is kind of creepy seeing all of this former uh, school territory. Let's see. Uh oh. Somebody's moving around up there. Who's out there? Relax, fellas. You got what Trouble's you deserve, over. dumbass. I think somebody might have made it downstairs and seen one of the corpses that I made. Okay, this is downstairs. Upstairs, I think, is up and forward and to the right. Yes. No. Forward and to the left. Forward and to the left. Okay. We do have to be careful because there are traps and stuff. Oh, I think I see somebody's shadow. I'm gonna tear your fucking throat out! You're dead. Dead! Okay, so he's just around that corner there. You think? Maybe. Okay, and let's switch to this. Let's also improve our... Oh, uh, we can't... him. So. Yeah, weapons in this game, they do degrade. So you can fix them using, uh, using multiples of the same weapon, and eventually you get the ability to uh, fix them with similar things. Oh, yeah, I'm very low on, uh, on ammo. Not good. Oop. Nice. This is why I went with luck. A critical hit, it's basically a lucky blow. It's more likely with foes who haven't seen you yet. <laughs> it's killing time. Yeah. Tear him apart. Eat it. Nice. A lot of misses. But this person seems to have a machine gun or something. Time to die. Ow. But that makes me out of ammo. Well, I still have the BB gun, I guess. And my, ac my AP action points are recovering over there. Uh. 
not a good weapon f for use against this guy. Um, I might just run at him with a tire iron. There we go. Unfortunately, this does leave me kind of injured, but... But with some stim packs, I'm okay. And I can loot the other bodies. And I did hear some dogs and stuff. Let's see also what, what else can I get around here. Just because uh, scavenging is really important early in the game. You have a flashlight that you can turn on, which makes it super easy for anybody to see you, but can make it much easier for you to see stuff when you don't think there's anybody around. Oh, 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 yuck. Wow. Okay. There's that. You can also take a nap on beds that are sufficiently empty, but I don't... Th oh, somebody's nearby. I think it's probably that dog, because I can kind of hear the dog. the dog is going to run off. Okay, well, I'll take a stim pack. Whoop. Is he coming back? Well, maybe not. Oh, well, the raiders left some... the dog doesn't want to stick around, which I am fine with. If he really... the experience from uh, from killing him might be useful though, but on the other hand, yeah, I'm not going to bother. Let's see what, what there is down here. I think I hear some rad roaches. Ooh. Yeah, definitely nearby there can hear some... Oh, is that a person? Oh, that is a person. Do I have any ammo now? Yes. Okay. Fortunately, I got an assault rifle. Which just might be important when... when foes are coming at me quick enough. Unfortunately, this makes me overburdened, but let's see if I can repair my way down some weight. Yes, well, that helps a little bit. And... There we go. I think... This is an exit. Yeah, that's an exit to the whole school. Here's some more stuff that might be useful. I think 
I hear somebody over here. Oh, why, hello there. Okay. Cool. Nothing in these cabinets. But I really did repair my way down. I think I I'm hearing that red roach again. Some more stuff to sell. Dirty water is irradiated water. And you can use it to start yourself recovering health. But it'll increase the, uh, the level to which you're irradiated. It has its own problems. Oh, oh, those aren't, those are not rad roaches, those are ants. Oh, and that is not good. That's all the ammo that I had for the assault rifle. Not good. not all that great. The ants are coming up to get me. Oh. So as a effort to get more ammo, this has been an absolute failure. Tyron is Take that, ant. Yeah, this is... But, I think I'm getting some pretty decent stuff that I'll be able to sell later. Probably. Unfortunately, I think... Yeah, there are probably some more ants down here. This is not a very safe place to be. On the other hand, it's a pretty decent place to leave off. So I'm Pat Gunn. This has been the opening of uh, of my walkthrough for Fallout 3. Let's save the game, and that'll be all.